We are here today in Stuart Green's, an amazing West Edmonton neighborhood, and we're gonna talk all about the neighborhood and this house that I'm standing in. Hi, my name is Melody Wilson with the Real Life Team with Real Broker, and we are in West Edmonton today, far West Edmonton. Stuart Greens is located in between the Anthony Henday and the Winterburn Road area. So for those of you who are familiar with the West Edmonton, Winterburn School is really close to Stuart Greens. It's actually tucked in behind. Uh, Stuart Greens is one of the newer areas in, in Lewis Estates. So Lewis Estates is encompassed by a whole bunch of neighborhoods with the word Greens at the end. So you've got Souter Greens, you've got Breckenridge Greens. Those are the older, Bre Breckenridge is one of the older ones closer to the white mud. And then as you move towards the Anthony Henday, Stuart Greens, which is like basically the last neighborhood beside the Henday, is the newer one. So this home that we're standing in is built in 2014. So you can get a gauge of the fact that this neighborhood, you know, within a decade old, it's not, it's not that old, and there's still newer homes being built in this neighborhood. Now this main neighborhood is very family friendly. It's got lots of walking paths, like most family friendly neighborhoods. So great for the kids to go bike riding or for you to have a walk in the evening or during the day. There are playgrounds around and of course there's schools. There is the Bishop David Modiak School, which is a K to nine Catholic school. And then actually right close by is the Edmonton Public Michael Fair School, which is a junior high. It's a massive school. I actually thought it was, you know, a K to nine or a junior high to high school, but it is only a junior high school. So lots of space, I'm sure there, but you better check because you never know what's going on with Edmonton Public. Um, so this has a lot of school access, but it also has a lot of bus access. So if your kids are going to high school out at JP or Ross Shep, they would be taking a school, like a, not a school bus, but an Edmonton public transit bus. And there's a lot of um, bus stops, but there's also the Lewis Farms like main station there. And that eventually is going to be where the new LRT line comes. Now I say eventually because it's a good ways away. I think the, the span is about a five to six year um, span from now. And that's also the same timeline as when the new rec center in the West End is gonna open that's located pretty close to Stuart Greens, about five minutes, just right into Rosenthal. There's a big plot of land that they're gonna be starting to work on for the rec center. Now, for amenities in Stuart Greens, you can use all of the Lewis stuff, which is like save on foods. There is the dollar store, there's a McDonald's, there's a place to get your nails done. There's also the, the brew house. And then down 87th Ave, you're actually gonna find even more amenities like the Fresh Co. And that's close to the Lewis Farms bus station and the Anthony Henday. So the Anthony Henday is right close to there. It's also close to the other side where Winterburn is. So you have really easy access for road access. And of course, let's not forget about Costco. Who can forget about Costco in the West End here? That's only about a five minute drive from this house as well. So that is close to the White Mud and the Henday and of course, white mud can take you anywhere you want to go, same as the Anthony Henday. As long as there's no traffic, you have pretty decent um, travel time to anywhere you're looking to go in Edmonton. All right, so we're standing in this house. If you want to live in this amazing neighborhood of Stuart Greens, what can you live in? Well, you can live in this house. This home has three bedrooms upstairs with a bonus room and two bedrooms in the basement in a fully finished basement. Now, the bonus room upstairs has a vaulted ceiling, so it's gonna feel bigger and more spacious. And your bedrooms are all nice sizes. All the bedrooms have nice size closets, and in the primary, you have a large walk-in closet with a very nice ensuite. You've got a soaker tub, you've got the glass shower, and you have double sinks. Now, both in the primary ensuite and in the main bathroom, you actually have a higher countertop, like you're probably noticing these countertops feel a little bit tall. Well, that's intentional. So if you notice traditional bathroom heights are a little bit lower. So if you're super tall, you're bending really low. But even if you're a regular height like me, it is still nice to have these higher countertops when you're in the bathroom because you're not when you're brushing your teeth needing to bend super low. So it's a nice feature that would be an added benefit to be in this house. And then if you continue down the stairs, you'll also notice the open concept of living room, dining space, and kitchen. The kitchen is gorgeous with the dark cabinetry, the granite countertops, the stainless steel appliances, that gas burner, and you've got the built-in stove and microwave. And in the kitchen, you can overlook 
you know, your company that's hanging out with you in the living room, but you can also see the backyard. So you got a low maintenance backyard with a deck to enjoy those warm days that we have. And then you also, in the living room, have a gas fireplace. Now the floor on the main floor is with hardwood and ceramic. So in the basement, it's fully finished, so you can just move into this house and not have to worry about anything. There are two bedrooms and an open area space, a bathroom and storage. So you've got everything you need. And again, this house is located in a great neighborhood of Stuart Greens and you can buy here.